Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Lila Besenyei and welcome to my channel which is focused on health, happiness and actually tips that work in real life. So I always like to focus on practicality and simplicity and I want to give you meaningful information about health and success and happiness. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. And let's get started with today's topic. How to stay healthy during the coronavirus outbreak. So, you have probably heard the news that we are dealing with a pandemic, with a coronavirus or COVID-19 and everybody is freaked out, everybody is buying toilet paper and the shops are empty and everybody is afraid to die except a few people according to the media you should be freaked out but what's happening in real life should you be freaked out or is this something that yeah come on papa come on papa come on come on baby Come on, baby. Oh, welcome to welcome my baby Dolly. Yeah, she is not afraid of anything. Mhm. Mm yeah. Say hi. 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 Most of the people are really afraid of this virus, but actually, it's just a type of flu virus and. Unfortunately, in the media, people don't really like to talk about what you can do against it except washing your hands, because you can do quite a lot of things. For example, strengthening your immune system to be able to defend yourself against the virus or to be able to kill the virus inside of you. So there are quite a few things you can do, for example, taking vitamin D. Vitamin D is one of the most essential vitamins for your immune system and you can take especially in times of crisis like this 4 to 5000 international units per day If the flu season will be over you can go down to 2000 international units but still get as much sunshine as you can and also take the vitamin D my experience every time like every winter if i take the vitamin d religiously i won't get sick another thing is that you probably have heard about is vitamin c but the tricky part is that vitamin c is actually not only ascorbic acid what you can buy in the shops is ascorbic acid which is just part of the vitamin c because vitamin C is actually a complex and when you consume fruits, fruits contain lots of other materials which will help the ascorbic acids to absorb better. If you just take the vitamin C, the ascorbic acid, that won't get as good absorption and also on the long run it can deplete your body from certain materials, vitamins, minerals, so other vitamins and minerals. One of the highest sources of vitamin C is rose hip tea. Make sure if you are making the tea not to use hot water, just warm water under 40 degrees, 40 Celsius degrees, because otherwise you will kill off the vitamin C and the enzymes and everything. The way I do the tea is that I put some warm water on the top of my tea and let it sit overnight and then I strain it and drink it in the morning. It's more like a rosehip water, rosehip infused water. Another factor that plays a huge role in your immunity is sleep. So those people who don't get six to eight hours of sleep every day, they will have a massively decreased immune function and in my experience every time either I'm stressed out or lacking sleep long term I will surely get sick 
Otherwise, if I get enough sleep and I'm in a stable emotional state, I won't get sick even if the people around me get sick. And the next tip is, as I mentioned, stress. Stress can actually decrease your immune system for... <laughs> so stress can decrease your and actually shut down your immune system for up to 48 hours. That means that if you are afraid and constantly worried and yeah, freaked out due to this situation, that will surely not help you to stay healthy during this coronavirus outbreak. There is a good option which can help you to decrease stress. Actually taking vitamin D will decrease cortisol production but another good 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 and useful tool is adaptogens and, <laughs> and also pets if you haven't known sex kissing hugs embrace cuddling singing together massage dancing together will all increase oxytocin levels which will decrease your cortisol levels. Cortisol is the stress hormone. Another very good tool is adaptogens. Adaptogens are herbs which can decrease your cortisol levels. For example, ashwagandha, rhodiola, or there are certain mushrooms like reishi mushroom, and they are absolutely amazing for this purpose. So if you start, start getting some adaptogens you will get healthier and you will have a strengthened immune system actually some of the some of the capsules for improving your immunity contain these these kind of materials mainly reishi i heard about a magic mushroom capsule and it actually contained reishi mushrooms or quadriceps is the same so the next thing is probiotics. Probiotics, your gut flora plays a big role in your immune system and taking care of it will improve your immune system and it will decrease the risk of getting an infection after you are getting the virus because very often people who are suffering from the flu they get antibiotics not to get uh, infected after the virus infections so not to get infected by bacteria after the viral infection because the immune system is already low yeah Dolly says yes so yeah take some probiotics for example yogurt kimchi and also make sure to skip sugar because sugar will decrease your immune system so make sure to keep your immune system in balance don't buy too much toilet paper dolly says bye thank you so much for watching stay healthy stay positive and everything is going to be right all right everything is going to be all right right yes dolly says yes goodbye subscribe to my channel and share this video with other people who are afraid and yeah have a safe coronavirus outbreak and make sure to share this with everyone who might have a low immunity and who are afraid of getting the virus because we are not afraid we are healthy and we are positive and have a wonderful day goodbye